which choice best describes the function of the third sentence in the overall structure of the text? The mimosa tree evolved in East Asia where the beetle, Procidius terrenus, preys on its seeds. In 1785, mimosa trees were introduced to North America far from any B. terrenus, but evolutionary links between predators and their prey can persist across centuries and continents. Around 2001, B. terrenus was introduced in southeastern North America, near where botanist Xu Mei Cheng and colleagues had been monitoring mimosa trees. Within a year, 93% of the trees had been attacked by the beetles. So the third sentence says, but evolutionary links between predators and their prey can persist across centuries and continents. And question. Option A says, it states that the hypothesis that Chang and colleagues had set out to investigate using mimosa trees in Pteranus. So this is incorrect because Chang and colleagues had been monitoring the mimosa trees. They didn't make a hypothesis about them. B. It presents a generalization that is exemplified by the discussion of the mimosa trees in Pteranus. This seems correct because the mimosa trees back in East Asia were attacked by B. terrenus and when these mimosa trees were introduced to North America and so were B. terrenus, the mimosa trees were again attacked by the beetles and this shows how the evolutionary links between predators and their prey can persist across centuries and continents in this case continents so B seems the correct answer C. It offers an explanation, alternative explanation for the findings of Chang and colleagues the text doesn't include an explanation for the findings of Chang colleagues, so C is incorrect. D it provides context that clarifies why the species mentioned spread to new locations. But this is incorrect because the sentence but evolutionary links between predators and their prey can persist across centuries and continents is a generalization. It doesn't mention a specific species. So B is correct.